Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us we have the Diogli. <laughs> Love saying that name. It's spelled D-A-O-G-O-L-Y. It's the model number PR-209. It's an AM FM stereo digital radio. I got this radio off of Amazon, and prices tend to fluctuate, but you should be able to find it for under 20 bucks. Here's the box, PR-209, clock, radio, alarm, pocket AM FM radio, picture of the radio. Got little bullet points there, you can pause and read at your leisure. Same on that side. Some more bullet points, got some specs, uh, one that stands out as a speaker size, 40 millimeter. Cool. Okay, made in China. Who would have thought? All right. Go ahead and open this up. Let's see what we get. Okay, box empty. All right. Get to the side. <laughs> Made a lot of noise. That's funny. Uh, so here's our operation manual. Control indicators. There's a diagram. LCD. Some of the options it has. You can pause and read again. It takes two AAA batteries. It has a 12-hour and 24-hour format clock, which I like. You can switch that back and forth. We have an alarm clock. I tune the radio, I use presets, and how to lock the radio. And here on technical specifications, you'll notice the different bands for the different regions. Uh, you can't switch it on the radio, but I assume the radio that they ship you will work in your region. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to the radio. It's bubble wrapped. Okay, let's go over features of this radio. So this little guy measures two and three eighths across, uh, four inches tall, and five-eighths of an inch in width. So for size comparison, I always have my trusty CC Pocket with me. There we go. Definitely smaller than the CC Pocket by a lot. Thickness and in overall size. And then I have Invincible Iron Man. He's the man with the armored hands. <laughs> I don't know. I'll just make stuff up as I go. <laughs> uh, deck of cards, you can see that it's just about the size of a deck of cards and much thinner. Very cool. All right. So let's go over features of this little PR-209 Diogli radio. <laughs> I love saying that. It's pretty cool. I like the size, number one. It's really slim and it's super friendly in the pocket. It's got nice rounded edges. Um, it does have a bell clip on the back here, which is removable. Yay. But uh, I, I do like this for a pocket radio. I think that's neat uh, being real slim. I've done a few of these radios like this. Um, but it's always hard to find a good one that does everything well, so we'll see if this one does anything good. Here on the left-hand side, we have a wrist strap, carry strap, whatever you want to call it, but don't cut this off because it is your antenna. Yeah, it's not one of those radios where they run the wire into the carry strap, which I don't really like. I wish I had a telescopic antenna, easier to direct. This thing you got to kind of hold up or hang it on something and then kind of move it around. Yeah, it's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Uh, top of the radio, we have a headphone jack. Uh, when you put the headphones in, it does not increase the antenna. It does not hook up to the antenna, so you still have to use this. You have to move this around while you have headphones on. Uh, so it did not help that. I wish it did. But if you notice, it's a stereo, so it is FM stereo, which is nice. The headphone experience is good. A lot of uh, mid and highs. Not a lot of low end, but that, I prefer that, but a lot of people may not. Uh, but it did sound good in my ears. Uh, I did like the headphone experience. Front of the radio, you'll notice right away the clock and the display. And you can see right now it's 5.02 p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois. And you can change this to 12-hour clock, like I mentioned before. Here we have the power on button. We have an FM, AM mode select button. Here we have a lock feature button, time set and memory forward button. We have an alarm set and scan function button. We have a volume down and volume up button on the front. So pretty straightforward. Speaker here is about an inch and a half or 40 millimeters. Simple plastic grill. Right hand side here we have two little buttons. These are your up and down tuning. Seek forward and seek down also. On the back we have a belt clip and it's removable. So we just lift this little thing here and let's see if I can pop this off. Here we go. We'll leave it off for the remainder of the video. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like belt clips to be honest with you. Uh, here we go. Pocket AM FM radio PR209. We've got the frequency 87.5 to 108 on FM. AM520 to 1710. 
Runs on two AAA batteries. Made in PRC, People's Republic of China, I believe that means, right? And we have your vented case. Here we'll open up the battery compartment. We have two AAA batteries hiding behind it. And if you notice the top battery positive is to the left and the bottom battery positive is to the right. For those who want to know. <laughs> there are some people out there that want to know. Okay, so let's talk about FM reception. FM sensitivity was good. It found 55 stations, though barely. When I say barely, it was difficult getting those stations. I had to move this antenna around a lot, and I could barely copy a lot of those stations. But if I could hear them talking, I logged it as a station found. But you're gonna, if you're really you can use this for FM, you're, you're pretty much going to have local and semi-locals. Anything distant, forget it. It's just the antenna is not big enough. Um, there's no really, really way to extend this antenna either, unfortunately. Uh, good urban radio. I'll say that right now. Uh, FM selectivity is located good. It's kind of average. Just leave it at that. And I mentioned about FM stereo. Uh, actually, FM stereo reception was nice on this radio. So uh, half those stations, even some of the weak ones, FM stereo was coming in on this radio, which pleasantly surprised me, which I love FM stereo. You guys know that. Um, so there we go. We're going to go ahead and perform a uh, band scan, or not a band scan. We're going to do a audio check first. We'll see what this sounds like. So press and hold. It does have a back, little side light there. It's really dim. You guys can see that. Yeah, it's not too bright. Uh, we're doing a kind of an evening dusk uh, band scan today because we're not. Um, this radio here, you'll find out an AM band isn't fantastic. So I didn't wait till the late evening hours to shoot this video. So we're going to go ahead and just start this up. Okay. Put FM. All right. So we'll turn this up. Oops. Tune it up. <laughs> okay, let's see. I got, oh yeah. Let's get a plan. Oops. That's the tuning buttons. <laughs> Maybe that should be volume. <laughs> I'll this for a few minutes.
gotta love this cheap radios. I'm like, hey, the volume's over here. Wait a minute, those are your tuning buttons. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we'll turn that down. Okay, so that was the audio test. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this off. We are gonna go ahead and do an FM scan. Yes, we're gonna just uh, see what it can find with the auto scanning feature. We're gonna hold this up. And so what we're gonna do here is hit this scan button, hold it. Now it has 20 presets, but it, you can't manually do it, which I wish you could. Uh, but it's just gonna seek from the bottom up and then it'll just program it. You can see it programming right there, preset scan. There's your numbers as it finds them. And we'll see what it finds today for us. It takes a little while for it to do its thing. And this will give you an idea what it sounds like on FM. As we wait, as the minutes tick by, <laughs> as our beards get longer. <laughs> All right, come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. Okay, I made it. All right, let's see what I found here. Okay, that's not the volume. You know, this radio, okay guys, whoever designed, oh yeah, Diogli. <laughs> Put the tuning buttons here, make these volume. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how many radios have the volume here and the tuning here, come on. <laughs> All right, let's turn this up. Thomas does say that um, we we have to um, uh, in the in the Suma he says we have arms deals multi billion dollar arms deals are going to go through with the government. The other side of it is a massive sanctions campaign, and that's very much focused on that. Yeah, I mean it's an extraordinary story. There was a problem in Pennsylvania, a massive problem with. You know, people, uh, doctors selling these scripts, the Oxycontin mixed with, with cough syrup is like a, like a heroin. And, you know, this one guy, Jim Wood, a, a very good guy.
Express Pharmacy. What's going on there? That's pretty funny. So you get the idea. It's not a bad FM receiver, uh, for, you know, for what it is. Um, I'll give my final thoughts in a little bit. The part that's the bummer is the AM band. The AM band is just not great. So let's go ahead and go to AM. We're going to do a scan here. Now I'm doing it during the day because my daytime stations come in better than my nighttime. So we're going to scan AM band here. Yeah, the reason why I was going to say is um, I tried doing like uh, an evening scan with this by myself here and I was sitting there with the radio. And this thing has a weird circuit, like uh, I had Zoomer um, on this radio and I was trying to get in, I could barely hear it. And then I was like moving the radio around and get just in the tune, I'd shake it or set it down, all of a sudden it would come in crystal clear, like really bright, and then all of a sudden it just go away, like completely dead. So there's something up with the, the gain circuit on this radio for the AM band. I have no idea what it is. It just, when it gets a tune, it pops right in nice and strong. Um, but if it, if it falters at all, it's gone. So it's one of those things where you're kind of out of luck. So let's see, it's gonna find about 12 stations for us here on the scan. Okay, so this is a good daytime listener and local station listener for well, AM. If, uh, if see how it cuts out. This campaign has been practicing widespread racial Honor of the Week Award brought to you by the Ford F-150, the truck that knows something about getting down in the trenches to do what it takes to get the job done. So, who was the best offensive line in the NFL last week? So it's WSCR, the score, 670. Who was the honor of being named the Bill Ford Top Offensive Line of the Week? It was the Pittsburgh Steelers. Go to NFL.com. Get six seconds to answer, to come up with a, a being a father. Right? 720 I mean, WGM? What is the one thing that's not political? That this is what it does on weaker stations. It'll come in strong and it'll just stop. Right lane, right around 95th, coming in about 24 minutes, 95th of the Burn Interchange, 22 on the outbound side of 57. WBM, also local Chicago. On the Again, the local's coming really coming good. From Make sure the skills you need. Nurse practitioner, four plus years experience, acute care certification. Indeed has a huge pool of... After we have on spiritual warfare uh, in Ephesians chapter 6 about parents and children and about uh, putting on the, the full armor of God because uh, the family is that picture uh, of the gospel of the fatherhood of God. This is 1160 WYLL. This is Chicago. Excuse me. I think is the problem is that I donate a message from the 
Yeah, this is a little further station. The squirrel. Oh, yeah, it's kind of a bummer. So we got little things there, but yeah, it's just, it came in strong and it just died. So that's what happens at night and it's really annoying. So we're going to go ahead and just... Uh, The MVP, that. 1000. TK Hernandez came in to play second. Muncy has moved to first. And David Freeze is out of the game. So this one. I think if I press and hold, it's going to stop now. the next station. Do some manual seeking, see if it finds anything. Out of balance. Man, it's a bummer. I like that station too. band here it's not finding anything so okay we're gonna go ahead and turn the radio off okay so there we go I'm gonna give you final thoughts on this radio the de Augle <laughs> radio um you know it's a cool little portable uh it's like I said it's under 20 bucks I saw it it looked interesting I guess I'm always on the lookout it's really thin uh FM isn't too bad for a pocket radio again urban area if you want to throw this in your pocket listen to uh, sports, you can do that with your local stations on AM. They were, they come in great, but at night, if you want to do any kind of long distance listening, forget it. it. Just This radio just doesn't do it. As you heard at some of those fainter stations during the day here, if I turn the radio, boom, it just dies and you're trying to get it back. And yeah, it's just, it's just a hassle for the AM band. Now, I think it's just probably the way it's built. I don't think it's a, a defective unit. I think it's just how it is. So would this get a recommendation from me? Uh, it's, it's one of those maybes again. Um, yeah, if you found this like for 10 bucks. I'd give it a shot because the FM's decent and the AM band is good on locals and you could listen to your sports in that in your pocket walking around, no problem at all. You heard it sounded good. It didn't break station, didn't didn't fade away like on those fainter stations. So yeah, I mean, I get about four or five decent strong stations during the day, which is nice. Um, I'm happy with that. But you know, there's a lot more stations out there. But this radio has to be cheap enough for me to consider it. You know, if this thing's $15 or more, I probably wouldn't recommend it. So if you see it for 10 or under, give it a shot. If you see it anything higher, Give it a pass. <laughs> um, I think I'll link this radio down below if you're curious and you want to experiment and play and order one and support the channel, you can. Uh, but I will recommend, since we're here, I'll recommend this radio right here. Now, it's a little bigger. Well, much bigger. <laughs> this is the uh, sister radio to this. And you've already seen the review, or if you haven't, check it out. I'll put a link up here on the top uh, for the De Augle. See, that's how it's spelled. Um, this one here, I think, is the PR... PR108. Yeah, this is a phenomenal DSP radio on the AM band. Wow. You guys saw the band scan. Just absolutely amazing. Uh, FM, it could be better because the antenna is kind of weak. But uh, otherwise, this radio is rocking. So, I mean, it doesn't have a clock. It doesn't have an alarm. But I'll be honest with you. It takes two AA batteries. This thing's going to last a long time. You get a lot more use out of this radio probably than you would this one here if you're an AM listener like I am. So... If you're looking for those distant stations at night, you want to have a lot of, you know, things at your disposable, disposable, <laughs> disposal, go for this one here. And this one here, last I looked, was under 20 or under 15 bucks. So definitely a winner in my book. Made by the same company. That's why I gave this a shot thinking that they used the same kind of DSP technology. And apparently they did not. So that's unfortunate. But okay. Well, that gives the final thoughts. If you enjoyed the presentation of the Diaugli PR209, please give me a like. I appreciate it. I'm always trying to inform you guys what to buy, what not to buy. This one here gets probably a no buy, like I mentioned, if it's over ten bucks. <laughs> you know, if you found it on eBay for ten bucks, you did good. If you find, you know, I don't know what Amazon's selling this for, but it fluctuates, and uh, that link will tell you when you click it. I'll have a link for that silver one too. This is a great radio, man. I love this radio. It's like my reminds me of my Nia. <laughs> I love, I love this radio. It just it makes me smile. One of those smile makers. Log a new station with this radio too. Uh, also nice. 
I did not log a new station with this radio, though, unfortunately. Did not log any new ones. So anyway, okay, there we go. Two, if you're new to the channel and you're like, Diogly, what the hell is that? <laughs> hit subscribe, hit the bell icon. I'll tell you more about these radios. I'll keep an eye out. They did make a winner. This one wasn't quite the winner. But, uh, you know, you got to check it out. got to find out. Uh, but, yeah, hit, make sure you hit subscribe, bell icon. Get notified of future videos that I will produce for you. Uh, three, comment below what you think about this particular radio. Yeah, you know it, it does get kudos for being slim and not bad sounding on the local stations. I mean, it really has a purpose, I bet, for some people, uh, and especially that want to clock an alarm feature also and have it in this thin, pocket-friendly design. They're getting there. If they could just get that AM to work better, um, this thing would have been a knock out of the park. Another one of those radios where it just missed, just missed hitting the home run. You know, it's like, man, come on, guys. <laughs> You know, put a little telescopic antenna or make your headphones the antenna because this thing is just annoying, as you saw me tuning it. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's my thoughts again. <laughs> Keep rambling, but I love it. Uh, so if you guys are still here, uh, check out Patreon link over here. Click it. I mentioned it every video. A lot of cool stuff I put up there for you guys, mainly for you. A lot of public stuff. Have fun. Enjoy it. If you wish to support the channel through there, by all means, give it a go. Uh, it's a great group of people. Good, you know, forum after the show. Loving it. And, of course, don't forget to visit uh, Radio Todabert, or not Radio Todabert, Todabert's Radio Shop, RadioWavesByTodabert.com. Put a link up here for you guys to click it. Um, you can shop all the new radios. If this radio isn't on the list, just use the link below uh, because we add uh, batches of radios at a time on that site. So, alrighty, guys. Well, I appreciate you watching. Take care, and we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.